It's sad to say that what we had is in all I gotta came to do to me. It's sad to say that what we had is in the past now. I thought that shit would last forever. You had your homegirls and your ear cloud, your judgment couldn't see clear, that's be clear. I would have done whatever. The good I weighed the bad when the sex was incredible. Be real with yourself, you know when nigga was credible. Alright, get to me one more time, that's how I got it. Need you, you need me, but your pride won't let you decide to stay, so you leave. Oh no, that was straight. Yeah, run it back one time. You think I need to like stab that with the with the with the okay. added tune? Yeah. You know how I did that walking on water? How I recorded it in the tune so I could I could really feel the notes to hit. I think it's singing first straight. I All just right. gotta do my thing too. All right. Let's go. I'm done. I need it. I need you. You don't need me. I believe in you. You don't believe me. I have faith in you. You lost faith in me. Now I don't know what to do with me. I believed in you, but you didn't believe me. I had faith in you. You had ah, you lost. My bad. You lost faith. Lost faith. Joe, did you get Tyrese a lot? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> The ad lives for that, bro. I'm sure he does it a lot. Bro. <laughs> Man, look, he bro. I, that's new to that's new to me, <laughs> but I, I'm more than positive that he know exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Oh yeah. That's it's definitely a vibe, man. Man, I don't know if you ever listened to it. That first one I did, bro. Every track. Straight vibes. I got like one up tempo track and Big Dog. But I got uh, all the rest of them, bro. Like the whole album, you can put that bitch on and every track you don't know, let, yeah, let that bitch roll, bro. And I'm not just saying that because it's my project, but that's really the feedback I get back to. Because that, that BR two step club banger ain't, ain't gonna, gonna go, go so far, it ain't gonna go mainstream. This shit right here is like Grammy type shit that you can get recognition. <laughs> I do my shit, I come in this bitch, I book two hours. Adam, every time I come in this bitch, if I ain't booking two hours, it's to do ad libs or some shit, I correct the song. Yeah. I book two hours. The first hour, I'm dropping my song. The second hour is for my engineer. Like, Adam is going, like, when I leave out this bitch, if I run into somebody on the street and I'm like, look, bro, listen to my music, it's going to sound right. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna sound presentable. Now I might come back and drop a bag, but like, hey, Adam, this three, four hundred dollars to go through every song. That's that's what we did for the first vibes, right? Uh -huh. Came in here, gave him a flat rate, and we went through every song and fixed anything that I heard when I rode around for that month before I dropped it. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna listen to every track while I'm at work, while I'm at home. I'm gonna find the imperfections. I'm gonna jot them down and be like, hey, look, on this track, let's fix that. But you shouldn't have to spend a whole bunch of time in the studio recording, my nigga. Like, when you walk in this bitch, you should have your guns cop. Boom. I'm going in this bitch. I'm not going to record now. That way you maximize your opportunity. You spend two, two hours in this bitch recording and you're fucking up on your verses, then what time you give your engineer to walk out of here? A hundred engineers in the whole world, this man going to rank in the, in the top 100, bro. Give him the time to do your shit. For one, you check me out on Spotify. I got uh, myself with Captain Green. We got three songs out. The Mac. Check that out. We got seven more songs coming. We're going to do a little EP album, whatever you want to call it. Look out for that. Got some more stuff coming with Bayou Bullets, Mother Band. Shout out to them. 
Instagram, same stuff, at Bayou Bullets Band, at Captain Green. Check me out my Facebook, all that stuff, my YouTube channels, and tune in for the soul. Joke well. Look, man, we Word we up. from Ascension Parish, and it's so often that we overlook because the area we from is small and spaced out. So we don't have a metropolitan, we don't have a, a big city audience that can basically push us up the ladder. So we getting it out the mud. I tell man. my partner all the time, bro. I say, if we all hustle, we can't lose. If everybody hustle, we can't lose, bro. And it takes for a real one to 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 basically stand on that. Boy, that's a shame, boy. I'm, I'm really blank right now. Yeah, that's okay, man. I'll be I can't even get the hook to one call away. I, 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 I forgot David's name. <laughs> <laughs> You had your homegirls and your ear loud and your judgment couldn't see clear. Let's be clear, I would have done but up. Be real with yourself. The band and the sense was incredible. Hey, be real with yourself. You know a nigga was credible. I would have gave the world if I got it in hand. I was on some taking trips to tropical lands, drawing hearts in the sand. Sometimes I think about the times we had and get sad. But you started fucking with my dog, so that's your loss. I bet you thought that I would crash out and fall on my ass, but I'm on now. I'm talking big boss like Rick Ross. I don't see you. You need me. But your pride won't let you decide to stay so you leave. Oh no. Hey.